Okay, today I'd like to take a look at、uh, one box of Van Hub, which is money box. The difficult level is easy, not、uh, so much hard. So, without furthermore ado, let's get started. To save the time, I have already imported into the virtual box. And the IP address of the box has been identified as two hundred and fifty-four. And also below the IP address section, as you can see,、uh, we have already completed the Nmap scanning. From the Nmap scanning result, we can know the target or box. Has three open ports. The first one is twenty one for FTP, and the version is VS FTP D three point zero point zero. Sorry, three. And this version doesn't have any vulnerability at this point. And the second open port is twenty two, which runs. SSH service, and the third one is eighty, which runs HTTP service. So,、uh, as as for the emulation, I think、uh, we need to do is FTP service. So let's FTP the target and、uh, the user name is anonymous. Password live blank and、uh, okay in the directory there is one file of image. Let's download this file to the kernel Linux and、uh, quit. So now we have already got the. Got the image file. Try to find. So apparently, apparently, this image has some hidden message. This image has some hidden message. So we need to figure out. Let's use the two. Stack hide, extract, try. But we need to enter passphrase. But we don't know, so let's quit. Maybe we can use the stack seek. This is very powerful.、Uh, brute force, a cracking tool for the hidden message. As you can see, it runs very quickly, but.、Uh, It says could could not find a valid passphrase. So maybe now we need to go to the next port, which is eighty. Let's fire up our browser. Oh, sorry, I input wrong port number. Okay, hi everyone, welcome to Money Box CTF. It's very simple box, so don't overthink. Let's check the source code. Yeah, nothing here. And also, we can check if we can find the robots file. No, not found. So maybe we can do some directory scanning or emulation. And I like to use the two of Buster. Specify the URL. Sorry, my type is very bad. And specify the word list. Okay, that's it. We just、uh, automatically tap the command. To be completed, to be executed. So as you can see, we find uh, uh, directory which is blocks. So we can 
can we access this directory? Yeah, um, yeah, I already hacked this box and informed, but they didn't do any security configuration. If you want a hint for next step, hmm, hmm, doesn't tell much information to us. So maybe we can check the source code. But the hint is another sec sec secret directory is this one. Yeah. And let's copy and go to the address bar. Let's visit. There's nothing in this page. So I think we need to check again for our source code of this page. As you can see, there is one important comment and it presents us a secret key. And we can copy this. Maybe this key or passphrase is used for the image. So we let's copy and uh, let's head over to the shell or command line. And we can use the stack height and uh, paste the password here. Yeah, root extracted data to this file, data exec txt. And let's con cat content. Hello. How to pronounce this? I think this must be some sort of user name and tell you something important. Your password is too weak. So change your password. Don't underestimate. Yes, it's true. We cannot use the very weak password for our security. So in other words, we can make brute force to this, to this user name. And we can use the two of Hydra. And let's specify the user name as IENU. And the word list is we can use lock you. And we can block, we can crack the SSH the service. Okay, now the Hydra is attacking the target with SSH. And we wait for this to be completed and see whether we can get the password for this user name for SSH. If, if, if it doesn't, maybe we can try the FTP service. Okay. The Hydra is very powerful too, as you know, can make brute force or dictionary based attack for many, many, many different types of protocols or services. Yes, yes, you can see we have already found the password for the user IENE -E, renew. Okay, let's log in SSH. Specify the target IP address. Okay, maybe some cache we need to remove by this command. Okay, done. And then, then the password is 987654321. Yeah, very simple password, of course. In real world, maybe you cannot come across such a simple password. Anyway, it's CTF game. Okay, let's input. Yeah, now we have already logging as renew. And let's, yeah, confirm our ID, user ID. And we got the user. Flag. 
and also maybe we can try we can cut the content of the bash history hmm as you see a very interesting thing here we maybe we can log in to another user by ssh okay let's go to the ssh subdirectory and uh, another user name is lily specify the sorry my tab is awful yeah now we are switched our shell to lily we can check by command id and uh, and we can get the second user flag here now our task next is to get the loot shell and also we can cut the bash history hmm sudo maybe we can run sudo right yeah sudo so we can run the command of a pull without inputting the root password so how to do it maybe we can we need to get the help from the site some oh sorry gtf let's go to this website this is amazing website can help us to make to identify the vulnerability and which allow us to escalate or elevate our privilege and uh, the pole sudo yeah now we can copy so this is the method we can copy this part and come back here and sudo and paste paste it paste it in here now we are loot and we can go to the loot directory we got the final flag which is loot flag sorry okay so that's it that's all i'd like to share and de dem demonstrate for this box um which is not uh, so hard so anyway thank you for your watching and the patience i'm always i uh, try to improve myself both in language and in technology Thank you. Bye.